Hello all, welcome to People's TV. In this video, we will know about how to use Material Editor in VRA for SketchUp to apply perfect and scale material to the model. So first, let's understand how Material Editor works. It can be pulled out from the icon under VRA for SketchUp toolbox. or from the Plugins tab above in SketchUp interface. Vray4 SketchUp's Material Editor has three parts. Part A, Material Workspace. It shows all the selected materials. You can right click to add, import, export, rename, pack, remove, and select the object with current materials. You can assign current materials to the selected objects. You can delete materials that are not used in the scene. You can add layers with reflections and refractions to the materials. Part B is Material Preview. The Update Preview button allows you to preview the adjusted materials. Now we will understand about Diffuse Layer in Material Editor. Let's know about diffuse layer in brief. I will explain this in detail in my later tutorials. It consists of two main elements, color and transparency. Color is used to apply color on materials. The small M box on the right is used to apply pattern and arrange sequence. Transparency is used to adjust the color transparency. Black is completely opaque and white is completely transparent. Now, let's understand how to add new material in V-Ray. You can add material in V-Ray by two methods. First, right click on scene materials and go to create material option. You can see there are a number of options for creating material. Go to V-Ray material for start. Second, if you have V-Ray material saved in Vispeth file format, then you can import that material directly to V-Ray. Now, let us know how to duplicate a material in V-Ray. For that, you just have to right click on the material you want to duplicate. Then go to Duplicate Material option. This is another way of adding materials. Now changing name of material. Right click on the name of the material you wish to change and select Rename. The name of the material cannot have number in the first digit or spaces within the name. Now, let's start exporting material. Right click on the material you want to export or save. Go to save material option and you can save material in Vispath file format which can be exported and can be used in other models as well. You can save this material in the desired location in your computer for later use. Now, as we have a basic understanding of Material Editor, let's get to know how to properly use V-Ray materials in SketchUp. As you can see in the V-Ray Material Editor, there is no material assigned to the model. Now let's add materials to the V-Ray Infinite Plane in the model. 
right click on the scene material go to create material option and select standard material after that select the v-ray plane then right click on the default v-ray material we just created select apply material to the selection option to apply material to the ground now again right click to the default V-ray material we created and rename it to ground. Now select the diffuse layer to enter color selections. V-ray's default color is red 128, green 128, blue 128. Change the color to light gray as red 230, green 230 and blue 230 and click OK. Now duplicate the material by right clicking on the ground material and again right click to rename it to style orange. Now select the styles and the rails of the door shutters. Then go to the material editor and select style on edge material and apply. After that, go to diffuse layer in style orange material to add color. Change the default RGB value to 248, 134 and 0 respectively. V-Ray automatically updates the changes of materials to the objects. It is not necessary to apply the material again. In the same way, I have added all materials and assigned colors to them randomly. Now let's do the test render to see that the materials we have applied are same in the output image or not. As we can see, the colors are coming good with the indirect illumination but for a better result we need indirect illumination and other settings to be balanced. Let's check them one by one. Let's start with global switches. In this attempt I am keeping the global switches settings to default only. After that comes the environment. Let's uncheck the global illumination environment texture box and let's see what happens. Now everything goes black because the global illumination was disabled and indirect illumination was also disabled. Now make another attempt by enabling the indirect illumination. Here we can see the model but light quality is not good. There are no proper shadows in the model and details of the model also can't be seen. Now let's go to the environment and check the global illumination environment texture box and go for a render. You can yourself see the changes in the color of the material with the effect of light. It's same as we keep a red shirt in the dark wardrobe, we can't identify the exact texture and color of the material of the shirt. To make your render output look more realistic, the key is to crack the balanced light quality to expose your materials. That is all for video materials, I hope this video was helpful. Join me on Facebook, other social platforms to get connected and talk on it. If any doubt or questions, write them down in the comment section, please. And also don't forget to like, subscribe and share my videos to your friends in need. Thanks.